Including Cassius IFL TV in association with MJ Marbella, we're in Hammersmith here at the George Groves Media Workout, making his professional debut this Saturday at Wembley Arena. Luke the Duke Watkins. That's Were they me. right? That's me. The Duke. The Is Duke. it just because your name rhymed with Luke or That's something like that? It just really? fitted in the gym, didn't it? Could have been like you could have been Luke the Fluke Watkins, like you win everything by like a dodgy decision. What do you reckon? No, we don't want no dodgy decisions <laughs> out here. Luke the Fluke Watkins. <laughs> Luke the Fluke the Duke. Imagine that. Uh, Every decision, like you just nick it. Uh, like flukes it. Now. Or anyone who KO was like, ah, oh, it's a bit of a fluke. Fluke from the Duke. Who wants to be known as that? No, I'm just giving you a suggestion. No, 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 no. We'll what are you trying, bro? I'm giving you a suggestion, Luke bro. Duke. Luke oh, Luke Luke the Duke. Duke. We'll yeah, stick yeah, with that. We'll stick with that. that. Um, well, Paddy's that, like, mind my own language, but he's wanking over you, Paddy. He's like, this guy, he's edgy <laughs> from, like, day one, and he's really excited oh, about geez. Saturday to see your debut. Um, yeah, I guess so. I, I walked through the gym doors for his gym seven years ago. You know, I've been with him as an amateur. Uh, and my ups and downs with him. I've been through all the emotions with him. Now I'm turning pro with him, so... You know what I mean? Well, turning pro with him as my coach and George as my manager. Really? Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Look, can we get involved in your uh, development somehow? We could be yeah, your yeah, yeah. official, like, videographers or something. Yeah, not a problem. Yeah, we'll get, not involved, a problem. get involved in that. Um, so are you based... Where are you based? Because you're, you're from Swindon, yes? Yeah, yeah. From but are you, Swindon. Do you, do you, are you based in Swindon or do you, are you based down here? Um, I'm based wherever Paddy is, really. Yeah. Uh, I'm here between here and Swindon, back and forth, you know, daily trips. Sometimes we're here overnight when we've got to get up early morning doors and be in London or, or just go home. It's only down the M4 about an hour, so it's not too bad. Yeah, I've, to be honest, I've not been to Swindon. I've been to like Bath and them places around. It's near Swindon, isn't it? Bath. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. been to there. I've not actually yeah, been to Swindon. Where is Swindon? Who, who knows now? I'm joking. No, no. Nah, Swindon's cool. It is cool. All right. Well, um, so this Saturday you make you, you make your pro debut. What way are you fighting at Cruiserweight? Cruiserweight. 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 So, talk to me a little bit about your amateur background then. Um, obviously, I started boxing about seven years ago. I didn't really have a massive, massive load of amateurs. Reason being, I was a super heavyweight as an amateur, and I wasn't near or on the London scene as such. Um, I got to the novice finals in 2013. Um, got a bad decision. Luke the fluke just didn't fluke at that time. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I, just, I got a bad decision that night. Um, and then I had a couple more and then from sparring you know I'd been around sparring and now uh, we kind of felt that the time was right to go professional so now we're now we're gonna go professional hmm. you're one of these people that I've sort of I've seen around for ages but I didn't really know like who you were to be honest with me, no, no, that's, that's cool. you might have thought the same me just who's this idiot this with a camera, with the camera yeah, who's the idiot time? with a camera all the time and then now we're, we're talking so yeah. we're making their movements but um so, you, like you said, you've had limited amateur experience. How old are you? 24. 24. 24. So, why now to turn pro? Um, it's the right side of 20s, you know. Yeah. And no one really wants to be buying a, well, buying. No one wants to get a cruiserweight that's nearly 30, you know. He's had limited amateur experience, you know. 30s on the, on the back end out, you know. I've still got youth on my side. Uh, and I'm still going to be exciting and sellable. No, I'm 33, bro. What are you talking about? No, I'm, no, I'm just started. I'm you're, just you're, you're not fighting. No, you're I know, I know, fighting. I know. I'm not comparing myself to, to an athlete because obviously you can see that I am an athlete. You obviously. are the ultimate athlete. <laughs> o ultimate athlete. F ultimate athlete. Uh, do you know who your opponent is this week? I do. I do. Um, forgive me, I don't know how to pronounce his surname. Um, I've looked at him and he's someone that's there that should be beaten. Yeah. I'm going to go there and do what I do. Standard four rounder? No, six rounder. Six rounder, no, hanging at six. six. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I spar over six rounds to eight rounds, you know, regular with high, high class caliber people. So it makes sense to come in there at six rounds. Hmm. What's the plan for you then? Just to get yourself out on George's cards for the time being? And no, of course not. Um, be as busy as possible. You know, uh, now's my time to learn my trade in the pros. So obviously George is at the, the top end coming into the world class, well not coming into, in the world class so their fights aren't as frequent as someone as me who's at the, at the bottom end just turning professional so I'm going to be out there as much as I can, I'm going to fight this weekend the 20th, hopefully I'll be on the Paul Smith undercard on the 27th, you know back, back at home in Swindon on, on the, in November sometime, I'll be back out in December again, you know I want to I wanna make movements, I don't want to stand still. Yeah, George probably fights twice a year one of them fighters that probably fight twice, maybe three times a year, and obviously, what? Well, yeah, you're right. Why well, you? It's quite silly of me to suggest that you're just going to fight on these cards, to be honest. So. Uh, of course not. You, you don't know until you ask a question. No, no. But I could have been a bit more sensible about that. So, yeah, you can body judge uh, that one. That. Oh! <laughs> oh! 
Man down. Man down. All right, well, listen, I'll be at uh, Wembley Arena. What a great place to start your, your pro debut. Yeah, that's that's amazing, you know, surreal. In, in respect, if you'd have asked me 10 years ago, in 10 years' time, you're going to be making your professional debut in Wembley, I would have most probably just laughed off and said, no, nah, I'll be with the boys, you know, out here on a Saturday going out. <laughs> but, <laughs> Do you know what the cruise your division though could do with a bit of livening up. We've got a few cruiser weights but it's it's like it could do with a bit of livening yeah, up and I don't think any, anyone would agree, even the people in the division would agree yeah, that absolutely. that could do with a bit absolutely. of livening up. Absolutely, you know, I think Bowie well not I think Bowie stepped into the weight. Yeah. Um cleverly stepped in there, don't get me wrong, they're all world class fighters. But for British boxing and at cruiserweight, yeah. that makes it exciting again, yeah. you know. It's That's what I was going at, yeah. yeah. But um no it'll be interesting, so look forward to seeing your um your pro debut this week for, with the opponent whose name you can't pronounce, but if you can't pronounce it, I probably won't pronounce it. So we'll just we'll call him your opponent. The opponent. The, the opponent. 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 All right, Luke, the Duke, not the fluke, Watkins. How about that? Luke, the Duke, not the fluke. He's gonna puke now. Stop there. Bars, bars, bars. Stop there. Stop bars. there. Stop there. Stop there. All right, listen. Thanks for talking to us, and uh, we'll, we'll catch up with you this week. Take care. Cheers. All right, nice one.